It is always a joy to come together each year for this Chrism Mass. We gather for the celebration of the Eucharist and the renewal of priestly promises and the consecration of the Chrism and blessing of the oil of catechumens and blessing of the oil of the sick. So we have a lot to accomplish during this time that is given to us. But it is a much anticipated Mass as seen by the fact that the cathedral is always packed to overflowing. And besides all of that, there are added benefits that come from our being together today for this celebration. And one of those added benefits is the strengthening the communion of the priests among themselves, strengthening the bond of our brotherhood. And besides that, there is yet another added benefit of coming together today, and that is the strengthening of the communion of the whole body of the local church. Priests, deacons, consecrated religious, and lay faithful. Strengthening the communion of the priests amongst themselves, strengthening the communion of the whole body of the church. Communion. As we know, one of the major themes of the Synod, communion, participation, mission. And our communion, first of all, is with Christ. In this Mass, we make the offering to God once again of our service as his priests. We already make that offering of ourselves to him every day in our prayer and uniting ourselves to Christ and uniting ourselves to the offering of Christ in the Mass, offering ourselves as a sacrifice in his service. But beyond that daily offering of ourselves and uniting ourselves with Christ, the offering of ourselves as a body of priests 100 plus strong at this Chrism Mass is a very special inspiration to the whole diocese and to ourselves, us priests. The faithful of the diocese see their shepherds, their leaders, their pastors renewing their promises to their vocation. And this serves to lift up and inspire all the rest of the faithful in their own vocations and commitment to Christ. It strengthens them in their faith. Our gathering and renewal of promises has the effect of fortifying us priests personally and strengthening the communion of the presbyterate, but also of fortifying the whole church, strengthening the communion of the whole church, which is very important especially in these times when the faithful are so challenged by the secular culture and its values that are often at odds with the gospel, the presence of so many priests gathered as one body speaks to the whole church of the strength and the solidity of the church. It speaks to the entire local church of the truth of Christ and his teaching. It tells the whole body of the faithful, the entire local church, in a very strong way, the church is here. The church is a firm foundation of support for them. The faithful draw tremendous strength from our commitment to Christ at this Mass and our pledge to serve Christ and his church. The faithful love their priests, and draw much strength from their priests. So there are many blessings that flow from this prison mass, even many blessings that we could enumerate further. Blessings not only for us priests, but also for the benefit of the entire local church. Dear brother priests, I do thank you for your priestly ministry, which does build up the church in holiness. 
as we renew our priestly promises today, let us resolve to stay close to Christ and live in his love. Our brother priests depend on that commitment from each one of us, and the entire church depends on that commitment from each one of us to the Lord and to his love. <laughs>